Well, the thing that I'm passionate about in accounting is this integration of technology, you know, that's happening in accounting. That's just uh, very intriguing to me. And I, I follow that. And, you know, I just was uh, looking into an article on the latest issue of strategic finance that talks about the importance of Excel for our accounting students. And, uh, you know, when I went through the Milgard School of Business, you know, about eight years ago, we were using online homework platforms and, and uh, that type of stuff. Uh, but we pretty much were working, you know, on our own with pencil and paper. And if we wanted to work in Excel, we did that ourselves. And we took a class on Excel uh, uh, separately and tried to integrate that in. And um, what I found when I went into the corporate, uh, you know, environment was that I had a large learning curve to get proficient in Excel for what I needed in an accounting department or a tax department. And so I'm really passionate about that, you know, preparing the students for that. Uh, Cause you know, I use Excel in all of my classes. Uh, now when I teach, we do in-class exercises, we have problem solving, decision-making stuff that we work on right in Excel. And then, you know, the, um, the, accounting program and our graduate program, we have many different softwares now, Tableau, Microsoft, BI, you know, lots of things we're working with the students in because, you know, that's the reality of today's business workplace. I started out uh, as a blue collar worker out of high school. And so I had uh, over two decades in heavy equipment and landscape supply. Um, so I come from that uh, side of the tracks, as it were, um, but I dealt a lot with, um, you know, I was in uh, production, I, I, I did beauty bark production and topsoils and, you know, I was in charge of their production and their quality and also process improvement. So that was kind of my background for the first couple decades. Uh, dealing with that. And then I went back to night school and, uh, you know, started studying accounting. And um, as I neared the end of my uh, bachelor's degree, I took an internship with Warehouser and I worked in their tax department. And that ended up leading into a full-time position. Um, I worked for Warehouser in their tax department. And then I've also worked for DaVita um, in their tax department. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot about uh, the corporate environment and what it takes, uh, you know, the knowledge you need, like I said, in technology and accounting. I started teaching uh, adjunct lecturing in January of 2014 while I was working in the corporate world. And so I started to integrate, you know, some of that stuff into my classes and, um, you know, really try to bring that real world experience to my students. Well, I like to tell uh, everybody I can get a hold of and including my students that they helped me achieve my dream. That's my elevator speech for Milgard School of Business because I was a blue collar worker and, you know, I would be out in my uh, jeans and work boots working in the mud and all day and then I would clean up and come to class and study accounting. And, you know, I wanted to be an accountant with a career. I felt like I had just had a job for many years and I wanted a career. And so Milgard helped me achieve that. Um, you know, and so I, I'll always be grateful for that. Uh, you know, a few of the things I really love about them is their small class sizes. Um, you know, there's really a hands-on approach. You get this personal interaction with the professors. And that was really important to me as a mature student coming in because I had questions that maybe were a little bit outside of the box from your typical uh, student. And I didn't have to deal with a, you know, a teaching assistant or a send an email and wait for an answer as it were most of the time. I could write in class or before or after class approach my professor and discuss some of these things. And so that's you know, one of the really huge advantages I think that Milgard School of Business has is this um, uh, you know, approachability of all the professors and also the wisdom and knowledge of the faculty there is really amazing to me for you know a smaller school it's it's uh, very uh, inspiring you know what i try to instill in them uh, which may not be what you would think it is at first you would think i would talk mostly about accounting skills but really what i try to teach my students are things like work ethic and accountability and a positive mental attitude in the workplace, a get it done attitude, always uh, looking for the solution, moving past the problem, finding uh, our alternatives and making the right decisions um, and teamwork, how to work in teams. 
you know, we have group projects and stuff we work on. And I really encourage students to, uh, you know, question each other, talk about these things. If a student writes something in the paper, ask them where they got that research or why they think that's applicable, you know, in this scenario and really try to uh, more than just getting a degree and learning the concepts and principles of accounting, how do you apply those in today's business workplace? What kind of decision, what's a decision-making process going to look like? Um, and then, of course, the technology and accounting. How can we use the tools we have today, uh, which are just so available and uh, can make our lives so much easier, can make our calculations and our decisions much more accurate? And then uh, to be a lifelong learner. That's what I subscribed on to when I went back to night school and decided to change careers. I never wanted to stop learning. I did not want knowledge and education to become stagnant in my life. I always wanted to be learning more and passing that on to my students.